broke. Then the barber tried to mechanic and do his thing on the machine. Eventually, it, it worked, cut his hair. Now it's getting late. Then they're making their way home, but they're just like on their way home. We will just make up a story of what happened and why we were in, uh, we were in late. So when they get uh, when they get home, like early evenings, like night is just kissing evening, not mm. dark. It's it's not too dark, but it's not too light. And then the first thing they realize, the gate is hooked, um, in a unusual way. Yes. Um, obviously, the villaging was there. So the gate is not hooked in the way that they they normally get um they normally get hooked. Fine. It's they really start having a funny feeling, right? And then as they approach the door, they under that side just drink. Like, as, as, they, <laughs> as they approach, and of just stop saying. As no. they approaching the, as they approaching the door, get really sees the mom's keys is on the key door, right? Yeah. And there's black blood dripping from the key, uh, the key door, like the, key, the key, the um, key, the keys, right? Mm -hmm. um, he's trying to play all the scenarios in his head. He's thinking because we've got livestock, mama, maybe if I have a chicken, and then. Also, the key a mistake and never forgot to clean them again. And then they get into the kitchen. He sees an axe on the table and it's bloodied. And he's just, and he said, he's just still thinking, maybe I was just chopping the chicken, but it's just also things are not making sense anymore. But he's yeah. trying, he's trying to reason in a positive manner to say, this might have been what mm -hmm. happened, right? And then they get into the house in the kitchen, sees that axe, and then they start calling him their mom's name. Now they, Mom, mom, where are you? They run to her bedroom. Um, in the bedroom, they found the clothes that she was wearing the day she was going to court. Mm -hmm. um, they, she's taken them off. <laughs> she's packed them like she you know, just like the clothes are on the bed. The shoes are just beside the bed. Mm. And now they panic. They run from the room. They go into the lounge room. When they get to the lounge room, they then um, discover their mom lying in a pool of blood um, with multiple X wounds. Mm. Um, immediately they started screaming, there's blood splatter everywhere, they started screaming. But now they started, they're fearing that... Was her body still intact in terms of the word? Really yeah, I think the body was still intact, but get, um, get realized at that point you could see there was like no signs of life. Mm -hmm. So there was not even need to go rushing and holding her mom. So she held the little sister and just cried and screamed hysterically for help. Oh, but also they said they were feeling that the guy might still be in the house or the murderer must still be in the house so they don't know where the murderer is. So that almost like kept playing in the head. We need to get out of here quickly because we don't know what's going to happen. Um, the neighbors came quickly to their, when they heard them screaming, they saw what happened. They took them to the neighbor's house. Um, from the neighbor's house, they could see in their house. Let's walk and talk. And then they call, the neighbor called the aunt. Mm. Um, and called the grandmother. Oh, and the grandmother. <laughs> Let me just fix this. Again. The grandmother. The grandmother called. Uh, the grandmother came and the aunt came to the scene. They called the police. And then when they got there, the neighbor said, "Mom is fine. Mom is taken yeah. taken to hospital." Mm -hmm. um, so they didn't actually tell them. So they like they, they all, the elders can just sing a story to them. Mom is fine. Um, and the aunt in the house. So they just put two together that he killed and went to hang himself. Stepping in. Let me. 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 Because Try not to overthink it before. Okay. I think right. if you like preempt, it's gonna be worse. Can you see I'm going more African yeah, these days? <laughs> more African. I feel like I'm looking so yellow. Yes. Is it just me? Uh, Okay, what? Is, is it the skin like? Is it the skin whitening? Whitening is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
How is it looking like it's strobing at the top? But she hardly moves. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, standing by. I think I'll put it in here. 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 Let's go for it. And pack to the D. Shoot 73. Segment 1, take 1. Yeah. <coughs> like, cops, are you angry? And find the corner. No, no, no. Let me talk to the guys. Cops, we are here for you. Talk to us. All oh, good, guys? Yes, sir. You're yes, the first gay I've ever met. If we're cutting, it's like. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Ay, yeah, jacket, eh? Okay, let me learn. Waiting for banana. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. All right, guys. So take I'm off good. all your clothes. Has Oscar ever had one? Please, don't distract him, man. Okay. Okay. You said. Okay, cool. And in three, two. Discovering your mother's butchered, lifeless body. Today's guest is here to share his story. Let's unpack. Kekekile, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Olivia, for inviting me. And there's a bit we used to run from our home to him when he comes back from work. And we would be having plastics full of groceries. Mm. And our, our lives took a major turn mm. after he passed on because they were still building a house. My mom had to be a father figure to us mm. to be makes ends meet yes. and is able to raise you guys so how long after papa passed away did mama meet somebody my mom met her boyfriend in 2008 because i remember that's when i was in grade seven so this was about four years after papa passed yes. away yes mm. and when the he was only going outside in order to, for him to hear whom my mom was speaking to. There was never any other pure intention and the genuine love to say that I'm going to check my partner. Mm -hmm. That was not the case. And time and again I was trying to, to say to my mom, there are signs. And you shouldn't be convinced by this guy who cannot live because of it looks like he's the one who's putting the bread on the table. Mm -hmm. So I better starve so that you, 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 you really understand what I'm feeling inside. Because mm. I've said it several times that this is hurting me. Mm. And you, you need to, to take an action before it gets hurt. If your sister, oh sorry guys, these things that are flying okay. here. Sure. Okay, so I'll pick it up. Cool. Three, two. Facing the teachers, facing the it's making everything worse. Because... It's like everybody knows about what has happened. Mm. And when you get in there, people are just looking at you. You see that they want to give you that hug, but they don't know the words that they want to utter. Mm. They don't know the words that will be sufficient to comfort you. To see if it was Say that time and again, when you talk about it, it feels like yesterday. Mm -hmm. But out of it, I don't know. And I, and I think you are definitely yeah. going to be doing it. Thank you for coming. I need to run and get ready for the next episode. My name is Kiat Lachile Mabena. I've been having a conversation with Rile Bokhile Maboja, and I've been sharing my story my story of hope, my story of overcoming and becoming, my story of how I turned my pain into purpose, of how I turned my scars into my stars. And please tune in and catch me on Unpacked with Rilebo Khilema Bojo.